Three balls. And there goes the runner. And Trout fouls it away. Twenty six second only to Avi Sail Garcia. Inside. Two two. Taken up stick. Three two runner goes. In the air out toward right and playable for the guy who was tops on that list. Avi puts it away. Four two Angels. Wow it's a low strike. But that's the strike that the catchers steal on that one knee. They work from the ground up. It's what's taught by every catching instructor. Take a look at the glove. It's at the ground and he works it up. Umpires really can't see that. That's what every 2 2. Jazz grounds one to first base. Sano feeds Sandoval. One away here in the fourth. Ground ball to second base. And a double play. We head to the fifth. Well, able to get that ball across his body inside to this right handed lineup. Fifth. It is third appearance here for the Marlins getting the ground ball left side Anderson comes around a jump throw and a strike to first base who says Neto is the only good shortstop in the building. What a tremendous play from Tim Anderson for the first down here in the fifth. It's well planned and well timed. He backhands it with that left foot then he goes to the right foot turns and jumps uh, like Derek Jeter used to do and throws a strike across the diamond to Bale. It's a big league play right there. Strong arm too. Later, after I played in Japan, we used to have like the spray, and they just spray the bat with the sticky stuff, and that just was more economical. It wasn't all messy. I liked that a lot. And then later on, when I came back to the states, a lot of people were using that spray, the spray sticky stuff. But they got all kind of stuff. They got that stick them thing. They like they rub it up and down the bat. Right. Slow roller to third base. Bruhan couldn't get it out of the mitt. Well, though, do or die play. Here by uh, in Bruhan. He's able to glove it, but not able to transfer it to make the play. And a lot of times, when you take a swing like that, if you're Drew, you're already taking one step down the line because you've already been fooled on the pitch. So you're already headed down that first baseline. You really want to throw to this dude, don't you? You don't want to hang it. First day we've played in a while with the roof closed. Not since opening day. Fly ball, center field. That goes Jazz leaping and he can't make the catch. Bangs into the wall. It'll be De La Cruz to get it in. Second and third, and now you check on Jazz out there in center. I thought he had a really nice beat on that ball. I thought he was going to make that play. He got back there and elevated and I thought he was going to make the play. Take a look at him. Times it perfectly gets back there to the wall. He knows where the wall is. Now he elevates and he doesn't jump into the wall. He just kind of mistimed that thing. Ooh, also close. It looked like his head hit first. Maybe the shoulder. Either way, it didn't feel good. And then he dropped down. And isn't that the way it was going to work out? My goodness. Had strike three, and on the next pitch, an RBI single. Terrible. Came back with a fastball that he tried to get inside, but it looked like it leaked right back over the heart of the plate. No hoppy. Uh, he's already been doing a lot of damage this year. Uh, it's no flukes. Uh, it becomes a thing. That one fouled on the right field line off. I'm trying to study their schedule. I just had to pack. That's all I had to do for St. Louis yeah, line drive. You, you right do field. a lot of packing too, buddy. Avi makes the catch. Throw is up the line. It'll be a sacrifice fly for Adele and a 6-2. A veteran player. Get him off his legs. 
Ron Washington was asked, are you you usually play better versus not knowing whether you're going to be in the lineup or not. Sharply hit. Bruhan there makes the play over to first base. Angels get two more back to a four run lead. Fly ball center field. And it's Joe Adele one away. That's work. Second inning of work here for Burt Smith. And that is a fair ball, foul yeah, ball. What do we got? Fair ball. Fair ball. Okay. Everybody was a little confused there. Yeah, up, check swing. Up and in on Shauna Well. So one away. Recently called up. Ward, fly ball right center. Avi gets behind it, makes the catch, throws in, and keeps the runner at second base. Two away. Drury out to right. Avi gets there to make the catch, and Burt Smith works around a couple of walks. Six to two. Brings home a 2 0. Bell pops this one up behind home plate and out of play. Ground ball to short. One down here in the sixth inning. Three that drove in the uh, very first one of the game would classify as a hard hit ball. Like a lot of things over here. I know you do. <laughs> the ground we work ball. well together. There's ground ball. I don't like him. I like Neto. No, I do. I do. I do. He's a good player. <laughs> you mean that in a nice way, of course. I do. Uh, you were right. The single from Josh Bell in the first inning. Actually, the hardest hit ball of the day for either side. Um, but then if you go 95 or above, that's what StatCast considers Three. hard. 0-2 oh, coming. Into right and down for a base hit. So it doesn't always have to be hard contact. He It'll hit, work. He hit it the exact same way that Sandoval threw it. It was a change up at about 78 miles an hour. And the exit velocity on that swing by De La Cruz, probably about 45. Then they're going to try to throw you that fastball, but you're waiting for that fastball, really. Pitch calm. All right. Just as the pitch clock expires, Sandoval delivers, but it's low. So a walk for Jazz. Going to be it for him, looks like. Ron Washington creeping toward the top step. 